Hi, George here. There are several new features here inside of 2022. Let's just take a real fast look through here and see what is new. The first one, this is the one that I like the best about 2022, and I think this is worth the whole program right here, really, is the ability to warp an image. Here's the regular image, and here's the warped image right back here. If we grab a tool like this, just click on this image. I'll use the Control T keyboard shortcut to bring up options. And right down here, you see this button. This is a new button, and this opens up the warp tools right here. We're going to add warps on your image or even a custom warp, which is a great new feature here in 2022. I really, really like this one. Okay, for the next one, I'm going to open up another image up here. Let's just grab a color image. There we go. And the way I got this strange coloration in here is I used a new trick. And that's right down here under effects. Now in effects, there used to just be this classic tab. That's all we had, and this is what you have for your effects. There's a lot of great effects in here, but it was just on the classic tab. The new artistic tab has been added in 2022, and this allows you to take a look through all these different art styles, click on that art style. It then applies that art style on your image that fast, that easy. We'll be talking again more about this in a later discussion, but this is another really fun, interesting new feature here in 2022. Okay, we'll go back to our layers again. There we go. Our next new feature up here, I'll grab another image. Grab that one right there. There we go. Now, see I have these things as floating windows. Let me set this up for you right now. This is very useful when you're working inside of Photoshop Elements, and it's the way that I like to always work. Go up here to Edit, come down to Preferences right here and the General tab, and check that one checkbox right there allow floating documents in expert mode. Make sure that's checked. Choose OK. You can then float your document like this or you can dock it up like that. It's a really convenient way to work with your windows. OK, this next option up here under enhance is moving overlays. Now moving photos, this one came in in the last version, in version 2021. But there's one little tweak on that one. Let me just show you this real fast, then we'll show you what that new tweak is. Here's the moving photos. And if I do a pan left and right down here, I'll double click and apply that. It's going to generate this preview. And this gives a kind of a three-dimensional look for this image. It goes pretty fast usually. And there you go. There is that pan left and right. Kind of an interesting 3D effect. You can watch it again by clicking on your button right down here. That much we already had from the last version. Here's what's new about this. If we come down here to export right here, you can now export this out as an MP4 file. Before you only had the choice of the GIF file format, you can now export this as an MP4 video file format as well. So that's a real nice little addition. Again, not a lot really new in here, but that one export feature is very useful. Okay, I'm just going to cancel that. I'm not gonna save that one. And let's get this closed. Let's now look at the new feature here, and that's Enhance and Moving Overlays. And in here, you can actually put overlays on top of an image. I'll use this snowflake right here. But let's just take a real fast look and see what this does. Here's our moving overlays coming in. I'll hit the play button. There you go. It puts on these little video overlays right on top of an image. You can then use that, either save it out as a GIF file, an animated GIF, or as an MP4 video file. Okay, so back out of that one, click on Cancel right here. I'm not going to save that. Our next couple of new features here are both under the Guided Edits. That's this tab here. I'll open up a new image here, and I have one here called Puppy right there. Click on that image at the bottom down there. Notice a white outline. That's that image is selected. These are not selected. This one is selected with that white outline. Go up to Special Edits and Perfect Pet right down here. Now this particular Guided Edit, I don't think this is really worthwhile or useful, so I'm just gonna skip past this right now. Cancel that one out. Now there's one more new feature in here. And that's this Extend Background right here. Let me bring up another image for this one. Here we go, I'll select that one, Extend Background. This allows you to extend a background out, left, right, or top and then give yourself some more space or change the format of your image. And this again is one of those tools which is really better done over in expert mode and not really done that well here. So again, one of these got it edits that I personally don't like that much. It's not really useful and you get a much better job over in expert mode. Okay, the last one of our new features is back here in expert mode. This actually is a new feature over in the organizer. So let's go down there and that's organizer button right here. This brings up the organizer, which is a separate window. If I make this minimize just a little bit here, you can see that. There you go, see how it's actually floating on top of the other window in there. So it's a separate window, separate workspace. And over on create and slideshow right here, this allows you to make animated slideshows. Now it's a little bit limited. Just cancel that right there. It's a little limited. These are just working through a bunch of themes or templates over here. 
Not a whole lot you can do. You can change the music, you can add and subtract slides, but not a lot that you can really do in here. It's really much better to do slideshows over in Premiere Elements. So that's the best way to do slideshows nowadays, but these are really fast. So if you wanted to just do a real quick, interesting slideshow, this is a good way to do that. Now what's new here is simply some new themes. These top five themes, clear down to here, frames, geometric, light streaks, kaleidoscope, and whirl. These are all new, and that's what's new in slideshow. No new functionality, just some new themes have been added in here. So there you go. That's a quick look around at the new features here inside of 2022. And the one that I like the most is the image warp. And I'll be using this one all the time. This is going to be a new favorite of mine as I move forward with this new version.